so I'm back. I just wanted to give you a quick update of what's been going on with me and my hair. So a few months ago, I started my lock extensions. No, I'm sorry. I started my locks. Sister lock imitation, you know. I didn't get them done by a professional sister lock consultant slash technician. Me and a friend of mine did them ourselves. And they were good. They were coming along, but they kept coming loose because my hair is curly. They kept coming apart every time I wet it and I was wetting it like every day. Like for some reason, I felt the need that it needed to be wet every day. However, I added extensions to them. They were longer, because I did this in September. They were longer. They might've been like about right here but I'm not a long hair kind of girl. So it kept getting caught in my coat. Every time I put my coat on, I had to fling it out. That didn't work for me. So I've been nipping it with the scissors every couple of weeks, taking it off, taking it out of my face. Cause I don't want them to grow too long. This one here does not have an extension on it. This is mine. This I didn't put an extension on because I wanted to stay true to the game. This is mine. Also, I like the body that it has on it. Okay, this has all the rest of them. You see extensions on it. I don't really like the extensions, but it was necessary. In order to keep the hair from coming apart, I had to put extensions on it. You know, this is mine. You can see... This is an extension, but you see how it's smooth. This is a smooth transition. I did all the extensions myself. So they aren't the best, but they are not the worst either. But it's something about the extensions that just don't sit well with me for me because I want that soft hair, that curly situated hair. And I don't even think it's locking properly with the extension on it because the extensions is not letting the hair swell up and expand. I don't even really know why. Well, this one is mine too. The extension started falling off in the top. I was washing them. I was rough. I wet it every other day. Maybe every day I spray something on it because I wanted to just feel and look soft and go where I wanted to go. And even though these go where I want them to go, I have to wet it. And they don't feel as soft as my natural hair. That's why I don't like the extensions too much because they don't feel as soft as my natural hair would feel. So I just wanted to give you an update of what's been going on because since I put them on in September, there's been a lot going on in my life. There's been a lot of changes going on. There's been some great things happening and there has been some drama going on. We're not going to touch base on any of that because that's not what we're here for today. We ain't come here for that. We came here for this update of what's going on. So... The other day, I kind of like touched up some pieces, some sections of them because it grows fast. And I know these micro locks are amazing. I love micro locks, but they are high maintenance. There's nothing simple about micro locks unless you have a couple extra dollars and a good technician to go to. And I don't have either. Okay? I'm the couple extra dollars and I'm the technician that I'm going to. So in between me doing everyone else's hair and taking care of my family, I'm tightening up my own locks. I'm going to turn around and let you see the back. So my parts are still good. Everything is still where it's supposed to be. It's just a lot of work. So...
And I kind of was hurrying up to do this update because I've been cutting them. Every week I've been cutting and cutting and cutting because I want my own hair. I want my own locks. I don't want the extensions on for long. So over the next couple months, I'm going to keep cutting until I get down to my own hair. Until it's all mine. So every day I've been doing like little flat twists. I was doing ponytails. I did little two buns and things out. I've been trying to work them because I've never been natural. Never have I ever been natural. I've always had a relaxer, a short haircut, a weave, maybe a wig. I've never been a natural sister. So this has just been almost a year of me being natural. I'm enjoying it, but it's a lot of work. Turn that off. So, yeah. Just wanted to update you and show you. And it's really hard if you're doing it yourself and trying to maintain parts, especially if your hair is still short. And it's kind of tough pulling the extensions through my hair because my hair is much softer than the extensions. So I got to make wait, wait until I get a lot of new growth to get the thicker end through my hair. And I have to be careful to make sure that it's not popping the hair as I bring, pull it through and it's not causing more frizz. So if I had to do it all over again, I would have still done the extensions, but I would have done them different. I made micro locks. I made these locks really small and attached them to my hair. Whereas I would have probably took the same kinky hair and did like a double strand twist or a tiny little braid. So that it was still really, 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 really skinny. So it can go through my hair. Yeah, so this is it. This is where I'm at. My part is still here somewhere. It just needs a touch up. Like I said, I have to get so much new growth in here before I do a touch up because it has to be able to go through the root to tighten it up. This is mine and this is the extension. So some of them aren't far in length but the extension is basically to keep the twist from coming apart every time I wet it. You know, it's just to keep it from unraveling and having to get done over so fast. Okay, so that's it. Just wanted to update you. Any questions? Drop them in the description. Let me know what you need to know. And I'll hit you back. Thank you for watching. And I'll try to post up another one very soon.